master plan warrant article, $18,000 to plan a plan. Does anyone wish to speak from the public? Name and address, primary yes. address, please. Yes, uh, Jason Bashan, uh, 9 Thompson Road in Hampton, and town planner. Um, would you mind if I handed out uh, information uh, to the board? Um, Thank you, sir. Okay, so, so what I'm passing out to you is in follow up to our discussion on January 3rd when, when I appeared before you um, to discuss this article is a table um, that we compiled the planning board, myself, and the Rockingham Planning Commission that outlines the phase one tasks and a little bit of an ad additional information that you might find helpful. Um, so as we talked about, there are five tasks in stage in uh, phase one, one being the steering committee facilitation, another being the intermunicipal coordination, the vision session and chapter, the outreach, and the master plan template. The uh, table that you have before you provides a little bit of a description of each of those tasks, the cost breakdown associated with each of those, and the time frame that we're looking at, and that comes out to the $18,000 that we're uh, requesting. Um, I just wanted to point out a few items within those descriptions that might, you know, elaborate a little bit further on, on, on this and what we're looking forward to here. Um, in the steering committee facilitation, you'll see the words technical and guidance <laughs> information. Um, that's something that requires a team effort and a multidisciplinary and multidisciplinary expertise due to the range of el elements covered in a master plan. One professional planner cannot do this alone, although I will be actively involved in directing the consulting organization on behalf of the town and planning board. Um, jumping down to number three, the vision session and chapter, where it talks about preparing a draft vision chapter. That's the most critical required element of a master plan. It will include a set of statements articulating the desires of our residents, because this is a public process and they will be contributing to this, and the guiding principles and priority to implement that vision. Um, jumping to the next item, outreach. Uh, I point out the keywords, implement a public outreach campaign. Um, we'll be using innovative strategy and public participation tools. For example, I anticipate we'll be working with the Rockingham Planning Commission on this phase one, and they have um, some innovative software tools that would be unavailable to us otherwise. Uh, a program called publicinput.com to get that um, information um, from the public to generate public support and feedback. Uh, we want the ma to maximize public participation early in this process, and that will help effectively craft the two hard deliverables that, you will be that the town will be provided from this phase, the draft vision chapter and the master plan template. Um, on in terms of the master plan template, outline chapters and general content areas and appendices. Uh, the master plan template is the basis for the phase two work that is to come later. Um, it'll do much more than identify the elements and sections of the master plan that are outlined in the RSA. It'll actually detail the results of the public participation and steering committee guidance as to what the town would specifically like to see in each section of this plan. Um, it'll very likely also help to streamline the phase two process, which potentially could lead to lower costs when we do get to phase two. Um, we would also look toward any grant funding that would be available for any chapters at that phase two stage to help further up lower that cost. Um, and just a couple other points to make about this and following up from before. Um, the master plan is a document that's required by statute. Under RSA 671 colon 1 through 674 colon 4 specifically. And the statute states that, it, that the planning board shall prepare and amend from time to time the master plan. As I've noted, our master plan dates back to 1985, except for some amendments here and there thereafter. Um, the statute also states revisions to the plan shall be made every five to ten years. A number of chapters again date back to 1985, and looking back, I found that the 1985 master plan actually replaced a 1969 master plan, so that was a 16-year gap there. We're looking at a 34-year gap from the last comprehensive update, more than double, so I believe this is long overdue. And it's something that, it's an important document that would also help us receive funding for projects, grant funding, um, 
if another community has a current plan and we don't have a current plan, we're not gonna be looked on as favorably as that other community. Um, so it's just a few things to keep in mind. Um, we're looking ultimately at a clear and concise document, a living document that doesn't sit on a shelf collecting dust, something that the planning board itself or an implementation committee, for example, would work to ensure is, is up to date and, and being utilized. So in my professional opinion, I think this uh, is quite worth, well worth the $18,000. And yes, we'll be back in a couple of years for phase two funding, but please rest assured that we will be mindful of the need to control costs while ensuring the town ends up with a user-friendly, valuable master plan reflective of the public input to be obtained throughout the planning process. <coughs> so I continue to respectfully request your support for this article, and I thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. Okay. Anyone else wish to speak on the one article known as the master plan? Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Laurie Olivier. Welcome, Laurie. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I am the uh, manager at the planning office, mm -hmm. and I'm just piggybacking on what Jason was talking about. Um, Jason and I and some of the planning board members met back in October of last year with the Rockingham Planning Commission, three members, and we wanted to brainstorm on how to get more energy and movement into preparing a user-friendly document that reflects and embraces the wishes of the community. What we're looking for is for the RPC to work with us, which is that $18,000 number, which is on the high end. We're shooting, hopefully, for much less. We just put that at the peak. But we want to actually, we need somebody to help us get out into the public to get this document going. The um, first phase is critical in having a successful master plan. The steering committee, the formation of it, the planning office is going to need the assistance of the RPC to aid us in existing the community to make decisions on what they want for our town. What is loved about our town and what may need changes. Without a master plan, like Jason said, our town could potentially be pushed out of the option of receiving grant money. And like he said, we do need to buy statute, not something that's from 1985. The planning office, it's just really Jason and myself, need assistance, meaning the RPC, to help us seek volunteers for the steering committee, which is this first phase. We wish to reach out to a diverse group of individuals, demographics, seniors, teens in the high school, neighborhoods, Hobbs House, soup kitchens, churches, whoever we can get input on what our town needs to get a legitimate master plan. The planning office, town, needs assistance with the RPC with utilizing social media to reach the residents. As Jason said, we need to have some type of templates, websites, the Survey Monkey, it sounds funny, but it's another website. Um, <coughs> to craft questions and aid in potential event planning to spark the residents to want to be engaged in the town growth and vision. We're envisioning reaching out, like I said, library, coffee shops, um, chamber, local businesses, maybe even at local churches, anywhere where we can get some feedback on what matters to the residents so we can make this document a document by the people and make Hampton, help make Hampton a great place to live. In this process, we need to gather stories from the residents and identify community values. Again, all this assistance and tools, it costs money, and that's what we're looking for. Um, residents, of course, will be encouraged to then lead the process in concert with our elected officials and town staff for a range of goals, including planning, master plan, economic development, land use, zoning, and again, the vision of the town. The planning office, again, town, needs assistance RPC in building public awareness to make this document successful from when it's complete and have it complete going forward. Thank you. Thank you, Laurie. Anyone else wish to speak on the master plan warrant article? Yes, sir. Uh, good evening. I'm Fran McMahon for Ash Street. I'm the current chairman of the planning board. Welcome, Fran. Uh, good evening. I'm, uh, I rise to request the uh, budget committee's reconsideration of its previous vote. Uh, not to include the $18,000 for our update mas uh, update of the master plan. Uh, the planning board, by a 7-0 unanimous uh, vote, uh, endorsed this uh, request, and the select board, uh, by a 5-0 unanimous vote, also endorsed this uh, request. A current and up-to-date master plan is vital to the ov overall community interest as we grow, develop, and reuse our existing properties. Coordination between all parties is essential to facilitate well-thought-out development 
Major stakeholders include the public at large, the select board, the zoning board of adjustment, the conservation commission, the town departments of public works, police, fire, recreation, private utilities uh, such as Aquarian, uh, Unitil Gas and Electric, and the SAU is 21 and 90. Um, as Jason mentioned briefly, the uh, S, uh, the uh, RSAs, rather, RSA uh, 674-2 specifically requires uh, the development of a master plan. Uh, there are two sections that are required uh, by the RSA. One is a vision section, which Jason spoke about as our first task, and the second is a land use uh, mm -hmm. section, uh, and which typically translates into the zoning ordinance. Uh, there are a number of other permitted sections that uh, I think will probably just about all be included in our update, a transportation section, a community facility section, an economic development section, a natural resources <laughs> section, a natural hazardous section, a recreation section, utilities <coughs> and public service, uh, regional concern section, neighborhood plan section, community design section, a housing section, an implementation section, I'll come back to that in a second, an energy section and a coastal management section. I think if you if you you know think about most of those things, they're really appropriate to the town uh, as uh, where we are today. The master plan that we currently have is deficient or totally lacking in some of these key elements, but most importantly, is not particularly useful or accessible to its intended users. The update uh, that we envision will be accessible and easily obtained and used. Uh, you know, we, we see this as being an online document, uh, an interactive document where, where uh, people can get into it and get out of it. Uh, I, uh, some of you may have seen the existing do document that we have, and it, it really is, uh, is uh, unusable. Uh, the update will also include an implementation committee, and I think that's uh, an important uh, component, and Jason mentioned that in his comments, um, so that it doesn't become a shelf document. We, we, we view this as, a, as an ongoing activity. You know, Jason talked about the requirements of uh, periodic updates in the, in the RSA, uh, and I see that as really an ongoing activity. Um, of particular interest, I think, to the Budget Committee will be an improved uh, capital improvement section. So that you will you'll have a, a longer time frame to see what, what's in the pipeline uh, from a budgetary perspective. Uh, we've heard from elected officials, we've heard from the public at large of the importance of the master plan. And I urge your concurrence uh, and I urge your uh, uh, reconsideration of your previous vote. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Anyone else wish to speak on the master plan? <coughs> master plan seems popular tonight. Yeah. Welcome. Hi. Hi. I'm Ann Carnaby. I'm a member of the planning board. Mm -hmm. And I was going to read to you from oh. the insomnia pre <laughs> preventing uh, new book just out, Land Use <coughs> Regulation. Um, we've heard a couple of times that this is required by law. Uh, so I won't repeat that, but I will read from 674.1, Duties of the Planning Board. A master plan may include the consideration of any areas outside the boundaries of the municipality, which in the judgment of the Planning Board bear a relation to or have an impact on the planning of the municipality. Every planning board shall from time to time update and amend the adopted master plan with funds appropriated for that purpose by the local legislative body. This is the law, this is our job, this is what we are asking you for help so that we can do it. In order to promote this interest and understanding, the planning board may publish and distribute copies of the master plan. Imagine if we tried to do that now. Uh, or copies of any report relating to the master plan 
and may employ such other means of publicity and education as it may deem advisable. I could go on because the law is quite specific about what it wants us to do for this town. And frankly, I think we've been remiss that our master plan is this old and this outdated. And so I would ask your reconsideration of our request for Plan A money. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Anyone else wish to speak on the master plan? Welcome back. <laughs> Good to see you guys. It's been a while. Um, I think everybody that spoke ahead of me um, has enlightened everybody of the need to um, start um, updating the master plan. I'm just encouraging you all to reconsider your vote and support this um, money to uh, get started, to do a 21st century approach with the survey monkey, where we can actually get more input from the general public um, and get better feedback. Because many times during your deliberations, I'm at home probably having a Diet Coke and some chips. But um, you often talk about we need a master plan, we need the C a CIP. You know, a lot of times, a lot of your language says, speaks to falling back on having reliable documents. I'm not sure we always follow them, um, but we certainly need to have them in place as, as one of the gears of governmental bureaucracy to get grants from other departments and other uh, parts of the country, whether it's the state or the federal government. Thank you very much. Thank you, Keith. Anyone else wish to uh, regale us with wisdom on the master plan? Can we see the vote? Yeah, the uh, committee, the budget committee voted on January 3rd, 4-4. And on January 10, uh, re, re voted 2 6 on this article. Anyone else wish to speak on the master plan? Seeing none.